I'm back in Stockholm. Oh, like the hat, by the way. Um, you can pick up in the merch store. Link just up there. Um, I'm back in Stockholm and I need to get to Gothenburg now and my flight, um, my train that I've just arrived in on was like an hour and a half late, which means I've missed my train over to Gothenburg. So I've managed to book a flight with a flight sharing app called Wingly. And I'm gonna be taking a ride on quite possibly the coolest plane in the skies of Scandinavia from here in Stockholm across to Gothenburg. So I'm gonna go and find my pilot and then we can head out to the airport and go flying. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Found you, how are you, all right? Hello. First stop today was to get to the airport. Most general aviation traffic in Stockholm has moved out to airports like Vasteras, which is where we're flying from today. My ride today was originally based in Bromma, near the centre of Stockholm, but a couple of years ago a lot of the flying clubs were forced to move over to these more remote airports like Vasteras. So here then at Vasteras Airport, about 100k to the west of Stockholm in Sweden, and it's from here that we're going to be flying across to Gothenburg today on the DA42. My ride today is this Diamond DA42 Twin Star built in 2018. The Twin Star is a four seat twin engine prop plane built in Austria and in 2004 was the first diesel powered aircraft to make a non stop crossing of the Atlantic. So, how cool is this plane? This is a Diamond DA42 Twin Star um, and it's a twin engine piston plane probably the coolest plane in Scandinavia. Let me know what you think down in the comments, but it's an awesome looking plane, isn't it? And this is going to take us over to Gothenburg. Uh, not sure entirely which airport yet, either Sarve or Landvetter, depending on um, how much time we have. So we'll see. The DA42 is simply stunning. Its sleek looks on the outside and matched with state-of-the-art G1000 avionics on the inside. It was soon time to power up and get on our way. Aside from the awesome G1000 system, the DA42's got some seriously cool tech inside. The engine run-up checks, usually done manually and checking various readouts, is all done automatically just by pressing a button. Just watch this!
route today then took us southeast out of Vasteris on track to Gothenburg City Airport. Flight time today was 1 hour 11 minutes, cruising at 11,000 feet. The G1000's got this cool feature in it that reminds me a lot of playing Flight Sim. There's also a full weather radar built in, just like you'd find on a commercial jet. A bit of icing as we flew through some high cloud was no trouble for the DA42, there's de-icing for the control surfaces and the windscreen which melted this little bit away in seconds. The massive dome windshield makes the small cabin of the DA42 really bright and airy and it felt a little like riding in a fighter jet. All too soon, Sweden Control gave us our descent, signifying our ride high above the clouds was almost over. We descended down towards Gothenburg to get vectors into the ILS for Save Airport. My ride today cost me £229 or 291 US dollars. This works out to a price of 93 pence per mile, which, considering you're getting your own private aircraft for that, isn't bad value for money at all. Wingley offer loads of cool aviation experiences in the UK and indeed all around Europe. I'll pop a link down in the description if you fancy checking them out for yourself. Three, uh, three, down. 
So then here in a very blustery and windy Gothenburg Save International Airport. Um, it's not a very big airport, but there's a lot of general aviation happens here. They've had no commercial flights for a very long time. Ryanair flew in here and they said they had 280,000 passengers a year or something come through here at um, Save. Now Ryanair have moved over to Landvetter, which is where I'm heading off to in a few minutes. Uh, but can you imagine all through this little tiny terminal building, all those passengers, um, incredible. Um, I was just chatting to the guy who works here and he said that last week during the height of the coronavirus crisis um, Gothenburg Airport, thanks to its general aviation, was for one day the busiest airport in the whole of Europe in terms of the amount of people that came through here um, and <laughs> even busier than Heathrow and Frankfurt and Amsterdam and places like that, incredible. Um, that was an incredible flight over on the DA42 uh, through Wingley with um, Vladam. Um, incredible flight, I really enjoyed that, um, hopping along at 11,000 feet in that really cool um, little aeroplane, the DA42. Um, Wingley have got loads of opportunities like that, you can fly on like Yaks, Rutans, Long Easies and things like that, uh, Pit Specials, all sorts of things you can on their website. This isn't a sponsored video by the way, I should just point that out. Um, but they are pretty decent, so go and check them out and um, there's loads of opportunities to fly with private pilots like Vadam um, all over Europe. Let me know what you thought to this flight down in the comments as usual. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.